Gieo mầm yêu thương hạnh phúc đồng hành cùng con trẻ. You're listening to the bilingual fairy tale series, a product from Cultural House of Youth in Ho Chi Minh City. Hello, dear children. Welcome back to another amazing story. Today, we will listen to an exciting and touching Vietnamese fairy tale. The story's name is the boy named Tit Chu. Tit Chu was just an ordinary boy. But after one particular incident where he upset his grandma, something extraordinary happened. Oh no, it seems like I have spoiled it too much. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's jump right into the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Ditju. His parents passed away when he was young. So his grandmother raised him ever since. Grandma felt sorry for his grandson for losing his parents at a young age. So she worked very hard every day to make money to feed both of them. Whenever she received something nice, she saved it for her precious grandson. Every night she reads him bedtime story. And when Ditju falls to sleep, she stays up to fan him to keep him cool and cozy. The neighbors saw the selfless love from the grandma to her grandson, so they told Ditju, "Hey, Ditju, your grandma loves you more than anything in the world. Her love is higher than the sky and deeper than the ocean." When you grow up, make sure to take care of her. However, did you grow up to be a selfish boy who did not love his grandma? Although grandma was getting old, her eyes were not as good as they once were. She had to continue to work hard every day. Meanwhile, did you play around all day with the naughty kids in the village? Because of hard work and not enough good diet, Grandma fell ill one day. She got a high fever and could not get up. Still, there was no one around to take care of her. Ditju was wandering at the playground as always and did not bother to worry about his sick grandma. In one scorching hot evening, Grandma's fever got worse. She got so thirsty and called Ditju for help. Oh, oh, Ditju, are you there? Fetch me a glass of water. I'm so thirsty and tired. She called once and twice, then a third time, but still. Her grandson was nowhere to be found. She kept calling until her throat burned. It was not until late evening that Ditju was tired from playing with his friends, so he rushed home to find something to eat. The boy stormed into the kitchen and realized that the house was oddly quiet. He called for Grandma. However. Grandma was not in the bedroom. The boy searched carefully in every room, in the garden, and even ran to the fields to see if she was there. With a grumbling stomach, he grew more anxious every minute. Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice echoed from a tree in the garden. Did you? You're finally home. You must be very hungry. The boy recognized at once that was his grandma's voice, but when he looked in the direction, he only saw a bird sitting on a tree. He was surprised when the bird flew up and landed on the stone in front of him. It spoke. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's me. 
your grandma. I was so thirsty that I could not bear it any longer. So I turned into a bird to fly away to find water. Having heard that, Duju was overwhelmed with terror. He cried, <gasps> "Grandma, Grandma!" Please return to human. I will bring you water immediately. Cuckoo, cuckoo! It's too late. I cannot turn back anymore. From now on, you need to take care of yourself. I need to go and take care of my own. Did you felt his body turn stone cold hearing those words? He cried. Oh, Grandma, where are you going? <laughs> Please don't go. Please stay here with me. But the bird had already flown away. The boy did not know what to do. But besides following the bird, he ran after the bird, begging through the tears. Grandma, <laughs> Grandma, please stay with me. I will bring water for you. At last, the bird landed near a small stream to drink water. Dichu was out of breath. He continued begging. <laughs> Grandma, please return home with me. I will fetch you water. I will never upset you ever again. Kuku, kuku! It's too late, my dear boy. I can no longer turn back into human form. Having heard that, Dichu burst out crying. He was full of regrets that he did not take care of his grandma when she was sick, nor help her with daily chores, or listen to her advice to stop playing with the naughty kids in the village. It was not until that very moment he realized how precious it was to have grandma by his side, but it was too late. Oh no, that's very unfortunate for those two, don't you think? I feel pity for Dichu, but it seems like he had understood his wrongdoings. I wonder if there were any ways that he could turn his grandma back into human form. Well, let's stay tuned and uncover the rest of the story. At that moment. There was a movement in the bush nearby, as if a wind had just blown by. From the bush emerged a fairy with a kind, gentle face. The fairy gently told the boy, "If you want to help your grandma return to human form, there is only one way. You need to fetch water from the fairy river." She needs to drink that magic water to turn back into a human. But the road to Fairy River is very dangerous and far. Do you think you can make it? The boy stopped crying and replied to the fairy, <laughs> "I don't care how far or how dangerous it is." As long as I can turn my grandma back, I will do everything. The fairy nodded and pointed the boy into the direction of the fairy river. The boy thanked her and got ready to leave immediately. Before the trip, he whispered to his grandma, "Please wait for me. I promise to bring back the magic fairy water for you." Dichu had never been on his own, especially for such a long and challenging journey. Normally, his grandma always did all the hard work in the house. However, the boy did not lose hope, not even once. He had to cross rough waterfalls and pass thick, eerie forests. On the way, he faced wild animals. And many other dangers, but he was persistent. His feet were hurt, his shirt was torn, and he saw blood for the first time from his wounds. Finally, 
After all the challenges, did you reach the fairy river in the most distant land anyone had ever set foot in? He carefully poured some water onto the bottle and immediately returned home. At home, the grandma in the shape of a bird was still sitting on a tree, waiting. Did you quickly pour some magic water out into a bowl and offer it to his grandma? As soon as she drank it, her bird skin fell out and she returned to human form. Seeing his grandma come back to normal, Dichu was so happy that he cried tears of joy. He hugged his grandma tightly and promised to never upset her again. From that day onwards, the boy was determined to take care for his grandma. No one saw him running around the village with those naughty kids again. Instead, he helped his grandma with all the chores and field work. Did you grow up to become a strong and faithful man who took care of the family and looked after his grandma's health? The two of them lived happily together. Wow, it's so lucky that Dichu and his grandma got a happy ending after all. I'm sure that Dichu would never repeat his selfishness, since having his grandma living in good health and a peaceful mind with him is the greatest gift anyone could ask for. I hope that all the children who are listening to this story will remember to take good care of their grandparents. Your family will always love and give all the best things for you. So don't forget to cherish that and be loyal and loving towards your parents and grandparents. It's the end of our story today. I will see you again in another story. Goodbye and stay safe.